The History of Medicine in Philadelphia Movie by Kyrie Miller and Alan Cooper. Lewis and Clark visit Philadelphia. Meriwether Willard Lewis arrived about May 12, 1803 in Philadelphia, a city of 12,000 dwellings inhabited by 81,000 residents. No other American community possessed the concentration of learning needed to teach Captain Lewis what he must know to succeed in the vast, uncharted western wilderness. Benjamin Smith Barton, a professor of natural history and botany at the University of Pennsylvania, also a friend of Jefferson, tutored Lewis on how to collect, describe, and preserve plants. Barton also loaned him The History of Louisiana, a book that Lewis carried across his continents and back. Robert Patterson deepened Lewis's knowledge of latitude and longitude. He was the University of Pennsylvania's vice provost and professor of mathematics and natural philosophy. Dr. Benjamin Rush advised Lewis on health standards to maintain on the trail, diet, internal cleansing, as well as the need to know, obtain knowledge of diseases in the West from the Indians. He had studied medicine in Edinburgh, Scotland, and became a professor at the University of Pennsylvania's Institute of Medicine and Clinical Practice. While in Philadelphia, Lewis purchased more than 3,500 pounds of equipment for his assignment. Philadelphia was the best place to find the specialized merchandise he required. Lewis left, for Phil left Philadelphia for Washington, D.C. on July 18th. Dr. Benjamin Rush made many contributions to medicine that have stood the test of time. He advocated that the simplification of diagnosis and treatment of disease. In particular, he pointed out that decayed teeth were a source of systematic disease. He promoted inoculation and vaccination against smallpox. A pioneer in the study and treatment of mental illness, Rush insisted that the insane had a right to be treated with respect. He protested that the inhumane accommodation and treatment of the insane at Pennsylvania Hospital when it received an inadequate response to his complaints from the hospital's board of managers, Rush took, to the, took this case to the public at large. In 1792, he was successful in getting state funding for a ward for the insane. He constructed a typical logically of insanity which is strikingly similar to the modern categorization of mental illness and studied factors such as hereditary, age, marital status, wealth, and climate that he thought predisposed people to madness. Part of Russia's treatment of the mental ill was based upon his idea of the cause of physical disease. One of his prescriptions for patients was bleeding, strong purges, low diet, kind treatment, and the cold bath. Anticipating fruit and analysts by a century, Rush also listened to his patients tell him their troubles was interesting in his dreams. The first major American yellow fever epidemic in Philadelphia in July 1793 and peaked during the first weeks of October. Philadelphia, then na the nation's capital, was the most cosmopolitan city in the United States. 2,000 free blacks lived there, as well as many recent white French-speaking arrivals from the colony of Santo Domingo, who were fleeing from a slave rebellion. Benjamin Rush, a Philadelphia physician and sign of the Declaration of Independence, became highly regarded for his work during the 1793 epidemic. Rush, Rush thought that the outbreak had originated in a pile of rotting coffee beans left on the docks. He developed a very aggressive approach to treatment, bleeding his patients and administering large quantities of mercury. Dr. Benjamin Rush also founded Dickinson College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Garlic can prevent heart disease and also prevent cancer, such as colon and stomach cancers. It's also used to treat colds and intestinal infections. It can help high blood pressure, get rid of ticks, and get rid of ringworms and anthes. Forgiving nuts are used to treat whooping cough and bronchitis. Also treat other lung problems and treat nosebleeds. Lavender is an antiseptic, antidepressant, and anti-inflammatory. It is used to treat restlessness, anxiety, and burns, and also can be used as a drug repellent. Lemon balm is used to treat mild depression, cold sores, and digestive problems. It also repels mosquitoes and used with pains such as cramps, headaches, and toothaches. Raw ginger is used to treat a lot of things such as digestive problems, swollen breasts, coughs, colds, typhus, scarlet fever, nerves, sore throat, cramps, earaches, headaches, asthma, tuberculosis, urinary disorders, and venereal diseases. Peppermint can use, be used for digestive problems. 
can also treat common colds, coughs, inflammation of the mouth and throat, sinus infection, and respiratory infection. Marshmallow can be used for sore throats, wounds, inflammations, and ulcers. In Philadelphia, 1793, a yellow fever epidemic broke out due to low streams and low wells, which was the perfect environment for mosquitoes. They were, they were refugees from the Caribbean who also brought the disease over. They were escaping political turmoil from their country. By July 1793, the first deaths appeared, and the numbers continued to grow. Some of the symptoms, some of the symptoms that the patients experienced were sore backs and limbs, headaches, the skin turning yellowish, and their vomiting caused of blood and death. Dr. Rush told people to leave the city, and he tried to save the people who were sick from the disease, but he had very little success. The disease finally disappeared in November, beginning of winter, but left 2,000 people dead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Uh, woo. Yeah. Ready? Woo. Uh, woo. Can I get an encore? Do you, you want, want more? more? Cook and roll with the Brooklyn boys. So for one last time, I need y'all to roll. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank woo. you, thank you. You're far too kind. Uh, uh. Woo. Yeah. Ready? Woo.